we moved house a month ago and the house that we've just moved to has solar panels on the roof so one of the most exciting things for me was getting those panels because that's the dream isn't it that's living the dream it's having an electric car and charging directly with solar but how do you do that well you can obviously plug in your car to a normal charger when the sun's shining and then you know you've effectively charging on solar then but i want an app i want to see what's happening i want to see exactly what's coming off the grid i want to see what's what i'm getting from the sun and to do that you want a clever charger and one of the best probably the best is zappy and that is what i've now got and i'm going to tell you how i got it how i got it installed um, how much it'll cost at least if you're in the uk and all that sort of stuff So the first step, of course, is looking for quotes. And I asked three companies for quotes for installing the Zappi. You can go on to the My Energy website and you can find installers in your area on there. Uh, so I've got three quotes and one turned out to be the cheapest and also one of the best reviewed companies as well. Um, and they're called EV Domestic. Now, I did have another person out to quote and they said, look, you, the lead time is crazy for the government grant because you can get 350 pounds from the government for installing a charge point at your house so they said the lead time is ages it, it takes ages um, and it takes ages to even get the equipment from my energy the people who make zappy so um, i was a bit freaked out and actually i went on to ebay and i bought one it was new um, but it, it was significantly cheaper than it is if you get it from my energy now I spoke to EV Domestic, the people who subsequently installed this, and actually they could have got the unit, I think, for about the same cost or something. It might have even been a bit cheaper, I'm not sure, but um, bear that in mind. If you, do, um, if you do use a company to install the Zappi, then ask them how much it will cost from them and ask if there's a lead time or anything like that. So in my case, I did get it very quickly from eBay. I didn't have to wait the six weeks or something uh, had I got it from my energy, but... Um, I still, you know, I didn't save that much money. I thought I was, thought I was being clever, but I wasn't really. Um, you get different units. You can get a three phase one, which is 11 kilowatts, or this, which is seven point whatever. Um, I'm, I don't have three phase here at, the ha at this house, and most people don't um, in the UK anyway. So this is a seven kilowatt one, and you can get white or black. I've gone black. Uh, the only difference is this covering on the outside. Um, and you'll notice that I've got untethered and now untethered means that you have to plug in your own lead and I was agonizing over this for ages I was trying to think well what do I go for now I would have probably gone with one with a lead that was attached to it because actually it's quite neat if you, if you look at the pictures of it it is neat the way it wraps around because that's one of the issues I always think was going to look ugly but uh, these look good but we're getting a second car and it's going to be a Nissan Leaf and Leaf is a bit odd in that it doesn't have a normal type 2 connector so having the Leaf and plugging into a charge point you kind of need you need something like this you need untethered so you can plug in your own lead so a little bit messier a bit more annoying in that you know we've got to take out our own lead put it back in the boot and all the rest of it it's not just attached but if you are considering getting a Leaf uh, as a second car or something like that it's not a bad idea this unit here does the charging bit but all the clever stuff actually or a lot of the clever stuff happens inside the house and there's two units there's one called a hub and one called a harvey the hub is the bit that connects to the internet and then that's that talks to you as appy it's the hub that makes this a smart charger so you have to have this the hub anyway if you're going to uh, get the government grant the harvey is the bit that works out where all the energy is coming from solar and all the rest of it so the hub would be 85 pounds and harvey is 55 pounds and ev domestic they quoted me 243 pounds including vat uh, and that included the hub and harvey so since i spent 586 pounds on the zappi that meant this cost 829 pounds altogether which is quite a lot of course um, and significantly more than i paid for my old pop point um, than I had at the previous house but this does much more and if you're staying in a house for a long time and you, do, and you do have solar and you want something a bit more clever I mean this will save money in the long run that's the thing because I am at the moment charging this car for free with sunlight so uh, that's all very cool so the company I chose an EV domestic were really good um, first of all the so the process was I got in contact with them um, and they emailed back 
with a form and you go on the website and you fill in a form and uh, you can just do it on your phone you just go around and take pictures of your consumer unit of where the uh, electricity comes in uh, give them a floor plan to tell them how far away it's going to be uh, your charge point because they need to work out obviously to work out the cost they need to work out how long the cable has to be so um, you do all that and you submit it to them then, then they come back with a quote and um, as I said it was significantly cheaper than other installers in the area and it included Harvey and Hub and the Hub so that was really good um, the lead time was about two weeks so after I said yes um, it's about two weeks time that uh, the guy came here and um, his name was Mike and he was fantastic and um, poor guy of course the moment he gets here I'm filming him um, but uh, but he coped pretty well. I suppose the most, most important thing is they all charge a car at the same speed, don't they? Yeah. But the zappies are they're really well put together, they're really well made. Uh, so we're going to wire up um, the zappy now. There's a few uh, little bits in here that I'll just explain. Um, the main terminals are here for the uh, for the supply. If you're having hardwired CT clamps, um, then they go in here. But this customer's having a Harvey, so it's all done uh, it's all done wirelessly. Um, and then these three. Um, CTs down here um, are essentially bits of the safety kit for the Zappi and they make sure that no currents flow in the wrong way and they also make sure that um, you're not going to have any problems with your home uh, earthing and make sure there's no uh, voltage coming back like that. So that's what, um, that's what they do. And then the ribbon cable just goes onto the front to light up the screen. The guys who do the support, um, they're up towards Lincolnshire, are yeah. um, really, really helpful. Oh, okay. on the phone, so if anything does go wrong, you know you um, you know, you've got the guys there to look after you. Oh, they're really well made. They work well with solar PV. From our point of view, they're easy to, um, they're relatively easy to install. They've got all the relevant um, protection built in inside them, so it makes it slightly more straightforward at the fuse board, especially if it's a little bit more cramped. But right. yeah, the good bits get. Um, it took about four hours the installation here, um, and it involved going into our loft, and our loft space is not boarded, so actually it's a bit uh, precarious. I thought he was going to fall through the ceiling, but he didn't pretty tight space in with the electrics all the, the the meter and consumer unit and everything you have to really squeeze that in so yes so about about four hours and he did a really neat job we were trying to work out where to put the charger we've actually put it here because it's relatively close well yeah very close really to the to the driveway we've got quite a big drive actually now but if we have more than one car parked here then at least it will reach okay I'm very pleased with him He's, he talked me through the whole the whole process so why did I choose Zappi then now, I alluded to it earlier in that, yes, we have solar panels. And if you have solar panels, the Zappi is one of the few, there might be more, I'm not sure, but the Zappi is one everyone talks about. Zappi is one that knows what solar power you're generating and will just use that to charge your car if you want it to. So you have different settings on the app. Um, and you can change that on the you can change that on the unit itself or you can change it on the app. Now, the app is really good as well. and that's another good thing because quite often apps tend to be awful um, but this one is really good it's completely addictive as well at the moment you can see we're 100 percent green where there's an arrow that's coming from the solar at the bottom and that's saying we're generating 0.8 kilowatts at the moment we have two kilowatts here um, we will upgrade it at some point especially as this is so addictive you really you really want to you want to put as much solar on the house as possible once you see this um, so yeah, we're 100% green at the moment, that's great. It's all solar powered. We've got 0 0.3 kilowatts going to the house, so that's all the house is drawing at the moment, and 0.5 kilowatts going to the grid, um, and we're on a feed-in tariff here, so we do get money for that. Um, if you click on the solar, you can see what kind of generation you're getting, so you get graphs, and I love graphs. The more graphs, the better for me. Um, again, if you click on grid, you can see how much you're exporting. Um, and we've been here for a month and we have been exporting to the grid, but we didn't have anything like this telling us how much we were uh, generating or exporting. So this is finally like, it's like having a blindfold removed. It's amazing. And then the house, you can see the consumption history. And today already we've had like the dishwasher going and, um, and things like that. So we're generating more probably than we would do normally, but uh, that's fine um, and if I click in the middle we've got overall and you can see we're at the moment we're 63% green so of course because it 
like anything eco it all becomes a bit of gamification you know you want to get better and better and more eco and everything so um, we will strive to get better than that more consistently and then if i click on the car icon on the left um, it says at the top waiting for surplus and that's because i've got it on eco plus mode but i can change it to fast or eco so if i change it to fast now that's going to just charge the car um, so you can hear the beep there so now we're on fast assuming it needs to it will charge it might be that the char it might be fully charged anyway um, so and it says here what each charging mode does so fast mode will charge the ev at the fastest rate and will import grid electricity if there is insufficient surplus generating power um, and then you've got eco mode the charge rate is continually adjusted in response to changes in generation or power consumption thereby minimizing the use of grid power um, and then you've got a stop button obviously as well you've also got on here scheduled charging as well of course and smart charging you've got because we've got octopus energy we uh, we are on a, a tariff where it's cheaper at night because we're with uh, octopus uh, on go tariff so you can obviously set that in this as well and um, i'm not going to go through all of that now because it's just too much to cover really so the zappy itself is one of those things that i mean people i'm on twitter a lot as you may know everyone everyone is posting screenshots of their bloody zappy and uh and showing you know all what they're generating off their solar array and all that and how it's going into their car and they're driving around for free and um <clears throat> everyone's a bit smug about it so um unfortunately i'm now one of those smug people as well but it really is a revelation i love this zappy i think it's fantastic it's uh it's just you know not often it's not often i, I get something that I really love this much. It's like, um, it impresses me almost as much as getting the, an EV for the first time. That's the funny thing. It's like, a, it's just transformative, I think, um, compared to the pod point I had before. And the pod point was really good, but it was, um, it was a dumb charger. You just plug in when you need it, and, and that was it. And this is smart. And there's far too much in terms of options to go through now. Um, and so I may do another video or perhaps just look online because there are other people that have had zappies for ages and I'm sure I've done much better videos. So there it is, that's the zappy. I'm really pleased, finally got it and it's been a, a busy day with getting that and a new car and um, well, and another new car in fact, or a second hand car as well because we've got a Leaf that we've, uh, that we've won on auction. So it's been a busy day, very exciting one as well. And uh, now I think we're all gonna check out this new car we've got. So, um, thank you very much for watching and um if you do have any questions i will try to answer them bearing in mind i've literally only just got this unit so i'm still learning but um so far i love it clearly if you've got solar it's like a no-brainer and um yeah i think it's brilliant i love it i love it already so thank you very much for watching and i'll speak to you very soon bye for now